video I'm going to be comparing the two different versions of Manchurian Candidate to, to Blues Brothers. You got two movies in that franchise. What's impressive of Manchurian Candidate is that one movie is a 97%, the other movie is an 80%. When you look at Blues Brothers, the first movie is a 72%, which is a good score, almost certified fresh, but not fantastic. And then second one, Blues Brothers 2000, ooh man, that is known as a bad sequel, only has a 46%. So when you look at either the lowest or the highest score, Manchurian Candidate wins. Then when you look at average, Blues Brothers only has an average of 59, Manchurian Candidate average of 88. And then when you look at gap between lowest and highest score, in the case of Blues Brothers, you're talking about gap of 13. With Manchurian Candidate, you're talking about a gap of 17. So, okay, in this one category, Blues Brothers does win, but Manchurian Candidate won free round, so it's going to win no matter what. And... In this case, I would definitely easily choose Manchurian Candidate, primarily for this reason. I've seen one of these movies before, the version from 2004. It's about this guy who is running for Congress, I think, and he learns that there's a chip inside him that someone else put in there so they can control him, and then he uh, ends up being killed. I think. Don't remember a lot of the details of this movie. It's been a while since I've seen it, to be honest. It's not like I've watched it within the past year. I don't recall even, to be honest, when it is I watched it, but I know I watched it at some point. Whereas I don't recall seeing either of the Blues Brothers movies. I feel like the movie that I've seen before has people in it, actors or actresses that I know, but I don't recall off the top of my head who's actually in it to be honest that'll be it for this video